Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Nick here, back with a brand new video. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the daily uploads lately. If you guys have, definitely smash the like button. But also, if you guys are interested in more content like this, definitely subscribe if you are new and turn notifications on to be notified whenever I do upload a video or go live. Uh, before we jump into this video, I do just want to warn this video might be a little bit longer than usual. Uh, if it is, I apologize if you guys don't like long videos. But if you guys do, like I said, you, you can pretty much leave it on in the background if you want. Uh, it's pretty much just background noise if you want to learn more about it. You know, you guys can focus up a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to do a deep, deep dive in Alliance block. Uh, we're going to be talking about why I think it's so bullish, as well as, you know, why I think it's undervalued as well. Um, like I said, this one is an easy hold for me uh, because it is partnered with three of my main holdings, which is Link, Quant, and also Hedera Hashgraph. Now, Hedera Hashgraph is my top holder. It's pretty much a large piece of my portfolio next to XRP. Uh, so, you know, this one is very easy to hold nonetheless. Uh, so right now, currently, let's check out the price. So the price is about 38.7 cents. Uh, very cheap in my opinion. Uh, 1 billion total supply, 182 million almost in circulating supply, $70 million market cap. Uh, we could see a little bit low. We could see a retest of 34 cents down to 30 cents possibly. If it hits 30 cents, I I'm, I'm buying full stack. Um, I did buy in a little bit down in these levels which was like almost 28 cents or so uh but it did reach almost 22 cents fully it actually did hit 22 cents uh this one is very undervalued and we'll go into why real quick uh but before i do jump into that i do want to talk to you guys about the tokenomics as you guys know tokenomics are very you know important so i did have this quick note that i wrote down so 1 billion total supply like i said uh the seed is 10 percent private sale is four percent initial liquidity one percent team is nine percent advisors six percent ecosystem 25 percent nodes 25 percent partners five percent treasury 10 percent alliance block fund is five percent tokenomics look pretty solid uh the team's not holding like 50 percent 30 percent or anything like that so you know you're not going to get rug pulled or anything like that uh, it looks pretty solid nonetheless. So let's learn a little bit about this. We can pretty much get a general idea about what Alliance Block is here. Alliance Block is building the world's first globally compliant decentralized capital market. The Alliance Block protocol is a decentralized blockchain agnostic layer two that bridges uh, traditional and decentralized finance and automates the process of converting any digital or crypto asset into a bankable product. Now, the reason why... I, I mentioned this or I stress the idea of bankable product uh, is because their main focus point is institutional investors. We see here on their use cases, right? So we see simplifying cross-border activity, which is pretty much, you know, utilizing know your customer, anti-money laundering and due diligence technology. Uh, and then we also see regulated securities offerings, uh, compliant decentralized open finance solution, fund distribution, uh, regulated di digitalized derivatives, which is coming soon. But this one's actually very interesting. I want to learn more about it. Uh, compliant P2P lending for institutional clients. Now, I'm not going to read into these. Uh, like I said, if you open these, on their website, you could read more about them and do a deep, deep dive into it. I'm not going to make this an hour plus long video. Uh, if you guys do want something like that where I do go in depth on this, I could. Uh, but honestly, I, I'm not going to do an hour long video uh, right now for you guys because it, it, I don't need to. You know, you guys could pretty much do most of the research as well. Uh, but let's l read more about the team and partners before we do a deep dive into the project. So we could see the founders the founding members here uh, we could read more about them if we wanted to uh, we also see the advisory board here as well pretty solid team so far i love named team members as you guys know i'm very when i invest in something i'm very kind of strict in terms of transparency uh, i like when a team is transparent i like when i could read more about things uh, I like when, you know, they do a deep dive on everybody that is on the team as well. And honestly, there's nobody on this team that looks like I'm going to get scammed or anything like that. So it looks good. Um, partners and supporters, like I said, Quant, uh, Chainlink, and also Hedera Hashgraph. Solid, uh, pretty much projects that I'm invested in. But we do see some other good names here overall. Uh, and, you know, th for me, this is an easy hold. 
uh, in my opinion. So let's look at the ecosystem, bridge and traditional and decentralized finance. Uh, so we see the Alliance Block ecosystem. The Alliance Block is creating an ecosystem of stakeholders across the full spectrum of traditional and decentralized finance with a vision to create a fully decentralized and globally compliant capital market. Industry stakeholders and service providers can become a node in the Alliance Block ecosystem and propose their services while being compliant with multi-jurisdictional uh, regulations and also seamlessly plugging into legacy traditional finance systems. And we also see here... This is basically the ecosystem overall. This is that KYC and AML that I was talking about, that know your customer and also that uh, anti-money laundering system as well. So we see uh, traditional finance capital, private banks, investment banks, wealth manager, asset manager, stock exchange, sovereign funds, uh, mutual funds, sorry, pension funds, and credit union. So they're basically bridging that to DeFi, which is stable coins, P2P lending, data oracles, uh, yield farming, issuance, insurance sorry uh dex which is decentralized exchanges uh derivatives prediction markets and nft mar uh, markets as well now they're bridging these and they're also bridging these as well which is legal and compliance so they're making everything regulated now <clears throat> this is where the whole kind of speculation comes into board uh, i'm going to tell you why i heavily invested into alliance block we're seeing cross-border payments happening in this space we already know that XRP is going to be doing cross-border payments. Uh, we also know that HBAR might also be on uh, with CBDCs in terms of the trust layer and also scalability factor. They're going to need to regulate cross-border payments and they're going to have to regulate this new traditional and decentralized finance system that they're building. I think Alliance Block is going to play a huge role in this. I think Alliance Block is going to help these cross-border payments become compliant, become regulated. And that is why I personally am heavily invested in Alliance Block because I think it's going to play a huge role overall. And I'm very bullish on this in general. Um, and it's also going to be running audits too, auditing firms, uh, regular, regular tech and legal tech, uh, independent law firms, regulatory advisors as well. Uh, and then we also see custodial services, payment gateways, tra uh, trading platforms as well. Uh, so we see the ecosystem participants include financial institutions, like I said, huge, data processors, legal and compliance entities, issuers, uh, investor entities, fintech entities, and bookkeeping uh, entities as well. Uh, now we see new generation of globally compliant capital markets. The Alliance Block ecosystem is designed as a multifaceted platform that enables its members to issue, transfer, and own tokenized and or digitized assets. It is an open ecosystem that allows any entity to create assets and applications without the need for approvals from uh, centralized trust authorities. It uses human and machine intelligence to harness the wisdom of groups in decision-making and governance. And we also see down here, connecting global markets on-chain to build an enhanced cross-border financial infrastructure. Like I said, guys, that cross-border financial infrastructure. Alliance Block is creating a harmonious integration with existing legal and regulatory structures. The Alliance Block protocol ensures complete regulatory oversight, legal in, uh, recourse via relevant authorities, and dynamic revision of smart contract logic to constantly comply with an evolving regulatory landscape. Guys, if you're invested in HBAR, XRP, Quant, Chainlink, whatever the case may be, you're going to want to hold Alliance Block. When they're talking about cross-border financial infrastructure, I know that not a lot of people connect the dots, right? I'm trying my best to connect the dots here because what I'm reading here is basically saying, hey, we're going to use Alliance Block to pretty much enhance the cross-border financial infrastructure by regulating pretty much all cross-border payments, cross-border entities, and pretty much just regulate it in a, in a legal way that, you know, it's compliant with the SECs of multiple jurisdictions overseas and in the United States, whatever the case may be. Uh, so, I mean, this is going to be a huge piece of the puzzle and we're already kind of putting it together, right? We already have XRP, HBAR, Quant, Tel, uh, XDC, um, DAG as well. A, a lot of these assets in the space, you know, a lot of people are getting blinded. You know, normie investors are getting blinded by Dogecoin. They're getting blinded by these meme assets. 
honestly, individuals like me or anybody who's heavily getting invested in HBAR and stuff behind the scenes is doing it right. You know, we're we're investing in solid proof, sound projects that have incredible utility. The tokenomics are there, the project innovations there, the teams there, and we're investing in these projects be, behind the scenes while these individuals are are happy with their 10x gains or 30x gains on on these small little projects. I'm going to tell you right now, Alliance Block at a hundred dollars, at a hundred dollars, guys, would only be a hundred billion dollar market cap and right now you could get you can get it for 40 cents under 40 cents right now and i do think that quant has the ability to reach a hundred billion dollar market cap i mean we we're reading about it here right it's a massive project and it's extremely undervalued extremely undervalued right now um so yeah i mean i don't have a problem at all being heavily invested in something like this um so yeah i mean let's look more into it uh we already kind of read this and we looked into the supporters and all that stuff uh, now we do see it in the media we if we wanted to read that uh, i'm more invested into this so the future of investment banking uh, compliant derivative products can quickly and easily be created out of almost any utility token security token cryptocurrency synthetic crypto portfolio or defy solution structured crypto products including credit linked notes clns trackers synthetics derivatives uh, discretionary por portfolio static investments and structured loans can now be created in a compliant manner all digital assets will be investable bankable fungible and accessible to the entire regulated finance industry we also see the protocol so this is exactly how it's utilized and how it pretty much works so we see it, it, it's three layers overall we actually see that here right alliance uh, block protocol will be comprised of three key layers of communications to facilitate multi-directional data flow in a traceable accountable and regulated manner compliant with global national and uh, local jurisdictions our ecosystem streamlines issuance validation and clearance while integrating a progressive re regulatory and adaptive compliance framework in order to reduce costs and increase efficiency in global markets so we see the cross-border regulatory compliance layer and we could kind of read about these i'm going to break them down right here over here and sum them up for you multiple international jurisdictions regulations are dynamically written into machine logic within smart contract all actions within the network will be pre-authorized and automatically compliant at all times regulatory amendments are validated by oracles acting as proof of authority nodes and then we also see data governance and privacy layer all data collected processed, and disseminated disseminate it sorry uh is compliant with gdpr and mifid2 to simultaneously ensure user privacy and transparency of transactions rule-based access controls rbac and zero knowledge proofs full user control over their own data uh, at, at all times and now we could kind of move on to the data governance and privacy layer all data collected processed and disseminated is compliant with gdpr and mifid2 to simultaneously ensure user privacy and transparency of transactions rule-based access controls rbac and zero knowledge proofs full user control over their own data at all times and then we have transactions and workflow layer fully automated back office processing document uh, production regulatory submissions and transactions vastly improved workflow patterns and even automation of prospectus production uh, production by capturing key information and producing fully compliant documents in a fraction of the time and cost of current processes uh, and then these are the use cases as we pretty much kind of went over a little bit uh, and then I just want to talk to you guys about their two products we see this data tunnel and liquidity mining right so first and, and foremost this is their liquidity mining now this is actually insane and the reason why I'm saying that this is insane is we could actually liquidate our ethereum to ALBT back and forth uh, for an APY of 70% we could also do USDT, which is Tether, for 101%, almost 102%. Wrapped Ethereum to AOBT to USDC for 105%, which is incredible. 
So I thought this was very cool. Uh, now we could kind of read more about this. I don't know if they have, I, I honestly don't even think that they have a full breakdown of this. Uh, no, they don't. So uh, I can't really read too much about this, but you know, it's pretty much just liquidity mining. Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory overall. Um, but I also want to look at the data tunnel, right? So the data tunnel is powering the new data economy, building the Oracle of Oracles to unleash the power of data for both the de finance and traditional finance users. Uh, now we, we could browse now and also publish now. If we actually click this browse now, uh, we could pretty much see, so I, I don't, I wish I could close this out. Um, but overall we could kind of see the marketplace nonetheless. Uh, I can't really see it because I'm not going to sign into my MetaMask on a video right now. Uh, but we see the partners here and supporters. Uh, we kind of see the breakdown. So we see the problem, unaccessible data. We live in a big data world, but many organizations are unable to realize the value of these data sets uh, they possess owing to the difficulties in buying and selling data. Data sets can be hard to monetize. Data becomes siloed. Uh, and unavailable current data sets come in different formats once sold firms have no control over data access and we see the opportunity building the future of data we make data accessible to all through a monetized marketplace while ensuring traceability transparency and trust data providers and consumers will benefit from increased access to one another driven through a secure and easy to use solution for both de finance and traditional finance and then if we come down here Features, the go-to solution for both data providers and consumers. We make it possible to publish data in a decentralized and simple way without needing to understand blockchain, MetaMask, or private keys. The data tunnel also simplifies usability for data consumers and developers through a standardized output format. We see you know, full support for any size of XML, CSV, and JSON files. Uh, and then we see data publishers share in revenue every time their data is accessed. Uh, so, you, I mean, you could pretty much make money on this if you are um, a data publisher, which is pretty cool. And then we see a JSON-based rich data sch uh, schematic included for easy understanding. Uh, query using our JSON-based ABQL query language and then powered by the AOBT token. So all of this is going to add value to Alliance Block. Uh, and we see developer-friendly API and SDK for automated interactions. Uh, a diverse range of subscriptions to control or choose from, uh, which you pay monthly with ALBT. Uh, at some point in time, honestly, I, I think 250 is going to be a massive amount of money uh, nonetheless, because like I said, I think $100 is achievable. Uh, so, you know, if you're if you're paying yearly 250, that's like 25 grand. They're saying $250 right now, which is insane. Uh, no matter the source of the data, always view or download data in JSON format, uh, JSON based proprietary query language. So this is that Alliance block language as well. Uh, inspired by proven JSON based query languages, ABQL makes it easy to access all types of data together with the provided JSON schematics. Uh, ABQL can be auto generated easily and quickly by your custom application. Uh, so this is pretty much easy to learn. It's pretty much a breakdown overall of it, uh, which is pretty cool. Nonetheless, thought it was very interesting to mention that as well because that is one of their products. Uh, now, this is their overall white paper. I'm not going to go too, too much in this. Uh, this is when it was called the Prome Prometheus Protocol, sorry. Um, but we could run down a, a little bit of those use cases that we were seeing. Data governance layer to ensure that in architecture, data management complies with data privacy laws and the quality of data does not deteriorate over time or over distance. And then this is, this is the big overall thing that I was talking about, like that, that layer that we were talking about, uh, that CBRCL, which is the cross-border regulatory compliance layer. This is what I mean. Like, I, I think this is going to be utilized in massive ways that are helping XRP and HBAR pretty much scale and you be utilized by regulatory and compliant ways. Uh, we see to ensure automated validation of transactions and their compliance with applica applicable uh, regulations, trusted legal entities add and amend transaction governing logic after consensus to ensure uh, consonants with regulation. Then we see securities issuance and life cycle management layer. Now this is breaking down those uh, layers overall uh, to enable an end-to-end -end regulated issuance and management of the life cycle of the issued digitized security. 
uh, and then this is pretty much building on top of the distributed ledger technology. So DLTs, okay, is like the XRP ledger or like the public pretty much network of Hedera. So we could see they're basically going to achieve transparency in data governance, security in transactions, compliance to regulations. This is what I was talking about where we're seeing you know, XRP and Hedera, like I said multiple times now, uh, be utilizing Alliance Block. If that is the case, the value of Alliance Block could easily hit $500 billion in terms of market cap. And at $1,000, it's $1 trillion, which I think at one point in time, we get there uh, overall. Now, this is talking years down the road. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen this year or next year. Uh, it's going to happen in time. Um, but I thought this was cool. Uh, at the institutional level and top-down adherence to compliance and regulatory requirements across jurisdiction via its CBRCL. Uh, and yeah, I, I thought this was very interesting overall to really add. Uh, now, we could see more if we wanted to. Uh, like I said, this is... A, they have a ton of information overall on this project. You guys could read for years if you wanted to. Um, there's a ton of knowledge and information to learn about. I'm not going to go into too much depth on that. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm trying to keep this a little bit shorter of a video, like maybe 30 minutes uh, at best. Now, like I said, you could read their one paper, their green paper, and also their white paper. I believe I was just looking at their white paper. Yes, I was looking at their white paper. Uh, now, this is their green paper. This pretty much breaks down the ecosystem. Uh, they pretty much have their vision and everything there. Uh, we could read a little bit about their, vig their vision. Alliance Block is building the world's first globally compliant decentralized capital market. Our solution is built on the principles of censorship, resistance, transparency, and openness. This is my big key you know, hey, I love this project because it's transparent and open, right? We could read more about it. They have pages on pages on pages of this project. This is a solid proof project. I, I have no problem investing in this. Our vision for the future rests on the integrating three core principles that embody our approach, strategy, and technology, uh, which is decentralized, collaborative, and sustainable capital market that brings together issuers, investors, institutions, uh, traders, experts, advisors, other service providers, and even talent. We see this is the traditional system. So we have, you know, people uh, to pretty much the people who are working at banks and stuff like that. And then we see the Alliance Block. It's bringing everybody together, uh, utilizing, you know, Alliance Block, um, which is dis it's this is traditional and this is decentralized. So they're built. They're going to be utilizing both to connect them together. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting overall. But like I said, you guys could read more about this. Um, you know, this is pretty much the savings report. Uh, they, they pretty much go in depth on everything. Like, uh, like I said, this is the most open project that I've ever seen. Uh, pretty much ever. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much up there with HBAR and XRP overall. Uh, but like I said, you guys could scroll through this and read more about it. Uh, it's pretty much given us a breakdown structure of it. Uh, and you guys could, like I said, read more about it. Now, this is interesting here. Uh, so this is the Quant uh, partnership. So they're saying... They partnered with Quant to implement a multi-ledger interface. Uh, Overledger is the world's first blockchain operating system OS that only that not only connects blockchains to one another, but also connects existing networks to blockchain and facilitates the creation of internet scale multi-chain applications, otherwise known as M apps. Uh, now this one, like I said, easy hold because of this partnership as well. We see the Holo chain. Uh, again, I think they even list I, I believe that they list chain link i believe all right so no they don't um but we could also see more of the partnerships here and how they work i think this is not yeah so this isn't updated to to show chain link but i think chain link got integrated once uh hedera got uh integrated now this is their one paper uh so this breaks down the full on market uh, we see their mission again. Uh, this is their ecosystem, like I was telling you guys. Uh, and then this is the fact sheet. So total created one billion token sold seed stage, which I was talking about was one million dollars, which was a hundred million uh, token sold private sale, forty million, which was five hundred thousand dollars. And then 
you can see the token distribution here uh, like I was saying so we see ecosystem and liquidity mining 450 million 150 million for nodes 100 million for the seed team is 90 million advisors 60 million partners 50 million alliance block fund 50 million private sale 40 million and initial liquidity 10 million uh, and I, I think the more and more that this gets locked into that uh, APY earning uh, a lot of these tokens are going to be utilized and the price is going to be astronomical uh, but we see here uh, is building a bridge between traditional and decentralized finance and seeks to unlock trillions of dollars in capital they're literally telling us that it's unlocking trillions of dollars in capital uh, Alliance Block aims to completely reinvent capital markets with a multi-layered blockchain agnostic protocol that simplifies the capital transfer process between regulated and opaque uh, markets compliant derivative products can quickly and easily be created out of almost any traditional asset we already kind of read that uh, and we already kind of read this as well but trillions of dollars in capital it's worth 70 million dollars not even 71 right now uh, it's down to 39 cents we could probably see 35 cents be retested who knows but this one is huge guys and it's audited already so it's crazy uh, so we see the layer blockchain uh, agnostic protocol break down uh, so we see mobile desktop app cross-border regulatory and compliance data governance we kind of already read about this overall uh, but we see the roadmap here I didn't break down the roadmap but we are currently in 2021 we are going into quarter two we see implementation of regulatory and compliance layer ecosystem partner onboarding partner number two case study implementation add partner case study uh, tech deep dive but all of this is already done uh, we see token utility. Now, this is where we get into the utility overall, right? So we see the AOBT token has been designed with a focus of ensuring that platform and revenue growth correlate with growth in utility and demand of our native digital asset. Medium of exchange. AOBT token will be the main medium of exchange for services and assets on the platform, staking by setting up an in institutional data or service node network participants will participate in staking protocol this is what i was talking about we're going to see massive amounts of this uh, of this asset be locked in value the more and more that's locked in value the less and less supply there is which means the more and more reward there is at the end of the day the price is going to skyrocket for alliance block this is so bullish i can't even stress that enough uh, protocol layer token burn between 25 to 50 percent of fees will automatically be co uh, confiscated by the protocol and burned quarterly and then we see revenue based token burn our corporate entity will buy back and burn tokens quarterly based on revenue network fees every transaction will require a small fee in aobt tokens so we're burning the <laughs> we're burning the token there's only one billion in circulating supply we're going to be to the point where this could technically reach a thousand dollars at some point in time and we're only at 39 cents. I mean, this is huge. Means of reward, node owners, stakers, and other relevant network participants will be rewarded in AOBT for maintaining the network. So you're going to be rewarded overall. Uh, we see partners and supporters uh, incubated by world famous accelerated station F and level 39 and 2019 alumni in the Zurich Kickstart Innovation Program Alliance Block was one of the 12 VC vetted fintech startups generating buzz at the Money 2020 conference in Amsterdam. Uh, Alliance Block is building an ecosystem of traditional and decentralized finance stakeholders that collectively will represent the future of investment banking. These logos represent a fraction of those already committed under discussion or in the pipeline for inclusion in the Alliance Block ecosystem. Guys, here's the, here's the members as well of the team. We already kind of looked in this. This is going to be a huge project. I, I can't even tell you guys that. Uh, 38 cents almost. I mean, guys... With only 182 million in circulating supply, 1 billion in total supply, we're getting token burn, stakeholders. This is going to be one of those projects that you want to hold for at least five years. This one is going to be huge. I think $100 is easily achievable for a $100 billion market cap. When we look at things like, you know, Doge hitting a $100 billion market cap, they're not dealing with institutional investors. This project is. At $100 billion market cap, $100. At $500 billion market cap, $500. At $1 trillion, it would be $1,000. $1,000. You could technically right now get nearly three for $1. I mean, this is going to be a huge project to hold. 
Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to end it there. If you guys want me to do a deeper dive into this, I mean, I can't really get much deeper than this besides reading all about the use cases, but you guys don't really need to know that. We just need to know that this project thrives on utility and it's going to thrive in price point as well very, very soon. This one is huge. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and you know, pretty much turn those notifications on because I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos similar to this and also news videos as well. Uh, so definitely turn those notifications on if you guys haven't already. Uh, but nonetheless, if you guys want more free content, you guys could join the Discord down in the description below. It's for free. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at NCashOfficial as well to get more content. Guys, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.